My objective and my goal today is to remind all of you that we're doing a fantastic job and also to reignite your passion. And that's the reason because we all here is because we all care and we want to give the best care possible. I want you to give the tools and I want you to go back to your place of work and tell all your colleagues and everybody who is not here that we still love what we do and whatever happened, the passion it never needs to disappear. The six C's are not only about um, giving care and our role as people that give care or who support care, it's also about us too as staff and they're equally as important. Today is about thinking about the good stuff that we're doing. It is about having some time to think about, well, what stops me doing what I really want to do? What can I do personally to change some of that? And who are the people around me that can help? In the circumstances where we know that the research says that, tells us what kind of working environment is good, and when we know that there is an ethical, professional and contractual duty to raise concerns, we have to try to find ways to speak truth uh, to power. And it's not always easy to do. And I know there are several people in this room who have um, suffered detriment for doing so, but it's always the right thing to do. The last sentence that talks about touching our lives at times of, hum of basic human need where care and compassion are what matter most. That sentence was the thing that really meant something to me as a professional. And from that I developed the six C's around care and compassion. What we really look at is people that can demonstrate a commitment to spreading the word about the six C's and compassion in practice, to act as ambassadors for that, um, and to demonstrate a desire to make a really big difference to both patients, carers um, and staff, and I think that's important. And a fundamental thing for us to think about is what state of mind am I in as I go about my business? And what state of heart am I in as I go about my business? My invitation to you is to find somebody from a different tribe. I'm going to issue a conscious invitation to you to listen in a particular way. And we call it quiet mind, open heart. It's an awesome level of listening. You really feel like the person's with you. You don't have to do any teaching on body language or listening skills. Because if you invite people to actually listen in a caring way, it just happens naturally. It's authentic. So you listen without interrupting, knowing you'll never have this moment again. Because you won't. So lean in, get curious. This is awesome. What's Roger about to say? I'm never going to have this moment again. My mum had vascular dementia. And I cared for my mum at home from 2007 until my mum passed away. And in that year of finding my mum, writing her name on her arm to remind her who she was. Finding scraps of paper in her pocket and under her pillow with my name on it to remind her who the other person in her own home was. And if you don't know who people are, if we have no clue who people have been or who they are or who we can help them be, I don't know if we can truly say we're caring for them. If we don't know what makes people smile or stops them from being sad or makes them feel safe or stops them from being scared, are we really caring for them? And if we do know the answers to those questions, then we are part of the greatest story of all. We're part of someone's love story. So I celebrate you for what you do. I thank you for doing it every single day. I encourage you to keep doing it tomorrow. And I encourage you to go out and find out about the life and the love stories of the people you meet. Even on the good days, we sometimes need a little bit of help with our love stories. And you know what I know, the thing about getting to know someone, it might just change your life. But I can guarantee you one thing, it will change the life of the person you ask. Thank you for your time. So don't underestimate the change that you can make and it starts with you.